Have you ever wished for a larger selection of characters when working with Doodly? Well, there is a way to get it, and I'm going to show you how to do it. But before I go on, I have to tell you that this method requires a subscription to Microsoft 365. The associated applications provide a great assortment of images, cutout people, icons, and stickers. I'm going to concentrate on the cutout people, but what I'll show you can also work with icons and stickers. I'm starting with a new blank document in Word. Follow the mouse pointer up and left to the Insert menu. Click the Insert menu and choose Pictures directly below it. Click Pictures and click Stock Images. The first page are Images. There are 19 categories and a wealth to choose from under each category. Click Cut Out People. There are 19 characters to choose from, totaling over 2,500 character images. Notice all these images have a checkerboard background. This indicates that they're all transparent images, an important feature needed for importing an image into Doodly. I'm going to select one, I'll call him Sam. Click him once and see two things happen. A blue check mark appears on the image, and the insert button down in the lower right corner becomes active. Move the mouse pointer to that insert button and click once. Sam appears in the document. You're going to have to work some magic on this image before Doodly will accept it. The image is large and Doodly has size limitations. Move the mouse pointer somewhere on the image and click the right hand mouse button once to display a pop-up menu. Choose Save as Picture. Notice the Save dialog box defaults to storing the image as a PNG file. Do not change this. It needs to remain a PNG file to preserve the transparent background. Decide where you want the image saved, give it a name, in my case Sam, and press Enter. I'm going to try to import this saved file into Doodly to show you what will happen. Because the image exceeds Doodly's 1920 restriction, you get an error message to that effect. I'm going to go back out to the desktop and double click the saved PNG image to open it in Windows Photo Viewer. Moving the mouse pointer to the three dot menu in the upper right corner and clicking once displays the Resize option, third item down on the menu. Expect this Resize image display. To make things simple, I'm going to choose the first item, best for profile pictures and thumbnails, and click it once. Name it and save it as you please, preserving the PNG format. Now when you try to import this new character into Doodly, you have success. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you need it, a fairly simple search of the internet will produce a bunch of sites offering further free images.